Hey everyone, uh, Andrew here and in today's video we're going to check to see if your email has been owned. Um, your email address is the key to your entire online life and what if the key has been stolen in a data breach and you didn't even know about it? Millions of emails and passwords are leaked every year and if yours is among them you're at serious risk. In this guide, I'll show you how to check if your email has been owned, that's hacker speak for compromised, and exactly what to do about it in under five minutes. The most trusted resource for checking data breaches is a website called Have I Been Owned? Um, it's run by a security expert, Troy Hunt, and it aggregates data from thousands of breaches, allowing you to quickly see if your email has appeared in any of them. Okay, so you want to go to the website, haveibeenown.com. There will be a link in the description below. And once you get there, you will see a prominent search bar where you enter your email address. So I'm going to enter my e email address, which I'll be using an alias for this video. And once you have entered it, you want to click on check. And as you can see, my email address, uh, has, there's no data breaches, so that's good news. You can also stay protected and get notified when your email appears in future data breaches. So to do that, all you would do is select notify me, uh, scroll down, and you would enter your email and verify your email, and then they will contact you if it appears in any future breaches. Okay, so then there's the other side of the coin if you uh, if your email address is in a data breach. So we will use an email that has been uh, for this example. So say mikejames at gmail.com. And then when we click check, there's been 46 uh, data breaches. So you wouldn't panic, but the email address and potentially other data like passwords has been found in one or more breaches. So Have I Been Owned will provide you with the list and you can scroll through the list and see the different places uh, where your email was found and what data was compromised. Okay, so after I have been owned, as told you, you've got a data breach, um, the immediate action that you should take would be to change passwords immediately. For every single account that used the compromised email and password combination, change your password and use a strong, unique password for each one. A uh, password manager like uh, Bitwarden would be uh, essential here. Also, you want to enable two-factor authentication. If you haven't already, uh, two-factor authentication on all your accounts is critical especially email, banking, and social media. It'll add a crucial layer of security, so even if your password is stolen, attackers can't get in. And also be wary of phishing. Expect more phishing attempts. Attackers know your email is active and might try to trick you into giving up more information. And just monitor your accounts. Keep a close eye on your financial accounts and email for any suspicious activity. Okay, so to stay safe going forward, just you know, use unique strong passwords for every account. Uh, password manager uh, will help massively with that instead of having to write them down or remember everything. And also enable two-factor authentication everywhere possible on any accounts that offer, offer it. And consider using email aliases or a dedicated junk email for less important signups. Uh, check have I been owned regularly, maybe once every few months to see if there's been any breaches? Uh, and your email is your digital identity. Protecting it is one of the most fundamental steps you can take for your online privacy and security. So don't be waiting until it's too late, you know. Uh, if this guide did help you at all, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment below. And if you subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. So that's it. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.